CPL Group is feeling the brunt of challenging economic times and it has shown in the first half-year report. Net loss before tax for the group was 16,000 kina, compared to a profit of 3.04 million kina in 2015. This was caused by, firstly, the reversal of a 1.5 million kina insurance claim for business interruption. Secondly, a reduced profit of approximately 1.3 million kina from tenders and wholesale businesses predominantly from the government sector. Thirdly, a 500,000 kina one-off expense for additional security and logistics expenses for the new stop-and-shop stores at Koki and Harbour City. The group also lost revenues of almost 2 million kina in June as stores closed during the student unrest around the country. They also faced delayed government payments for supplies of essential pharmaceuticals. Combined with slow insurance payouts is putting strain on the cash flows for the day-to-day -day operations. On the other hand, CPL expects the overall revenue to be stronger in the second half year with the inclusion of the two new supermarkets at Koki and Harbour City. CPL has assured shareholders of its commitment for the long term and said it will continue to invest in its business improvement processes. Deli Waigeno, National, MTV News.